another piece of good news, something that people, something that you can do in your town. If you're not in the legislature where you can help somebody who runs or you can think about running yourself, but you can also think about pushing policy and policy at the local level that could have systemic, massive, lasting change. You can start a bank. But instead of having that bank, one that only has for profit purpose, you could start a bank that was for the benefit of the people in your community. And you could make sure, in fact, that the public started that bank. Joining us right now is Ellen Brown. She is the founder of the Public Banking Institute, the author of numerous books, including Web of Debt and the Public Bank Solution. The website is publicbankinginstitute.org. Right now, I know San Jose just passed a resolution in favor of public banks. She'll probably know more about it than I do, and I want to hear about it. This is something that lots of towns, don't have to be the country, they don't have to be a state that a town could do. Ellen Brown, thanks for being with us. Uh, thanks for talking about this subject. So what are the, uh, what's the quick argument in favor of a public bank? Or respond to it this way. Wait a minute, doesn't the government mess stuff up? Why should the government get in the banking business? Uh, that is a typical response. Um, but we have one state bank, the Bank of North Dakota, and it has proved the model. It is safe, effective. Um, it uh, saves a lot of money for the government. It, it's never been caught in corruption, as far as I know. Uh, and they operate at much lower cost than an ordinary bank. So they actually do much better than, than regular banks. Globally, there are close to 700 public banks with assets. I just saw this of uh, $40 trillion. And that's a conservative estimate. That's not counting like central banks, which is technically a central bank is also a public bank. It's owned by the government. Um, but just the local public banks are huge globally, and they could fund a lot of things that people are in favor of that we haven't managed to get our private banks to fund. And so, yeah, say more. Usually the public bank movement isn't a consumer bank, right? It's not somewhere you take your ATM card and you go down to the, you know, Bank of North Dakota, the Bank of San Jose, uh, the Bank of Poughkeepsie. And those, the Bank of Poughkeepsie, I don't know if, if that exists. It may, it's probably a private bank. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and take out something and deposit something there, right? The public bank is usually for funding what kind of projects or for depositing what kind of resource? Right. Uh, well, if we follow the Bank of North Dakota model, which is what we would recommend, uh, in North Dakota, all of the state's funds are deposited in the bank, and then they're leveraged for public purposes. So what we would recommend is you start with infrastructure. Just start by refinancing the government's own debt at a lower rate, which we can easily show you can do. And you can save money, and it's risk-free because you know the client. You are the client. You are committed to make these whatever loans or expenditures and you can just do them at, um, you know, much more efficiently. But globally, there are banks that that take individual deposits. Uh, the German model is quite prominent and po popular. They have the Sparkassen banks, which are have half the retail banking business in the country. Yeah. And they too are very uh, low cost, very efficient, and. Um, I've done a lot of good for, since, for not just for individuals, but for local businesses. And since 2007, this might seem like a dumb question. You know, we shouldn't have to do too much convincing of why uh, highly wealth concentrated private banks aren't the only way to go and that there ought to be some other options for uh, for public organization to put in their money. But give a quick reasons. You gave the data. Well, actually, they, they save money. They're more efficient than private banks. How come? Give a plug for why the public bank makes sense. Okay. Well, the way a bank works, I mean, all governments have revolving funds where they lend money out to typically to businesses, maybe to build an infrastructure. Um, but what a bank does is that it could take that same amount of money, call it capital, and then it can lend, technically it can lend 10 or 12 times as much. Uh, so it can make many more loans. So let's say you were making 3% loans, and suddenly you're making 30% on your money instead of 3%. You do need deposits do back the loans, but a public bank, such as the Bank of North Dakota, which has put all of its state's revenues in the bank, has plenty of liquidity to use for that purpose. And um, the public bank 
will focus on things that, I mean, it doesn't do speculative things. It will do things that benefit the local community. Yep. So it obviously saves the local community money because you're using your own bank, you're leveraging your own funds for your own purposes. And what's, and what are some places, what are you seeing? I mean, are you seeing some traction out there? Are people, I mean, it, I don't know. I, I had never even occurred to me until about the last eight years that this is something that people could be or should be working on. Are there any any evidence out there of people working on this stuff and actually making some traction? Yes. Um, right now, I think there are 25 active bills across the country in cities and states across the country for publicly owned banks. Um, the one that's probably gotten the farthest is in Washington State. They currently have a, a bill. On, well, they have a they've allocated four hundred and eighty thousand dollars for a business plan, which is supposed to be out in June. And uh, 23 of the senators, state senators, are in their public bank caucus, which is pretty close to, they only need 26 for a majority. Yeah. So they're hopeful of finally getting a bill passed. They've been working on it since uh, 2010. It was Bob Hasegawa it was the first to bring a state bank bill in <laughs> recent yeah. memory. And he's, you know, gone through bill after bill, but they, they don't up each time. They, the bill gets, um, you know, tabled or whatever. Then they respond to what the objections were and hone something new. Yeah. So this last time around, uh, one of the members of the caucus said, well, we keep getting the same objections, so let's just show how we're going to do it. 